As the first woman to land a triple axel in open competition, how did you do it? What what was there a strategy that you wanted to to complete the triple axel because no woman had ever done it before? Um, how how did you overcome your challenges? Mm, I love jumping and so every day practicing. Uh, very, I enjoy the jumping, practicing, but so I need a figure ski, figure, and more. I need a more movement, but I have to more practicing. But easy to jump in my life, and so because and figure and dancing, and I need a one year whole sense. But jumping is about I can I I I can jump in to practice about six months. Oh, I run this wow. in the practicing. So then I want to try to com competition. So I'm so happy to be there. I think people don't understand, uh, just for the benefit of our readers, a triple axel jump is actually three and a half revolutions, right? Um, so what did you do for training? Just mm, practicing mm, the weights here? No, or? nothing. Just, just you can jump that high. Yes, because wow. before I'm very scary. Before can't do landing and very slowly. Then try to more first of all three times turn. Then more, more, and more and more, more, more. Right now, so as a skate, I have to more, more powerful and something like a push up. Yes. Before I'm a long time ago I was there I'm just just on the ice of practicing, practicing, practicing. Just practice. Just so practice. How many hours a day did you practice? Um, um about five hours. Five, five hours. hours. About five hours. Work really hard five hours. Uh, a day. because I, we have to do a compulsory figure so I need them more. More practice. Uh, yeah, because you said you had two very serious injuries. Yes. How, before. how did you how did you recover and go back to the ice skating? I'm okay, but be because I'm started six uh, years old, then every day is practicing. I'm injured, but it's lucky, so I'm rest, so small, no more skating, just I'm rest, then back to more oh, starters. Yeah.